Welcome to the hot and spicy. Now, I must give you a word of warning. If you're hungry, I would either go and get something and join me, or maybe watch it after you've eaten. Because it's serious stuff tonight. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you straight? There you go, that's better. Little things. What are we having? Pork ribs. And someone did say in the comments, are you having pork ribs? I'm gonna, you've got them in. Pause the video, get them cooked, and join in. And there they are. Pork ribs from Sainsbury's. And also, there is a, wait a minute, pork steak there, if you can see it. It looks like a chop. With It's a pork peri-peri steak. And I put some, that sauce on top is the Blue Dragon hot sauce. The sun-blushed uh, flatbread from Tesco's. And somebody asked about the crispness. The secret to the crispness of this, I think, it's all butter bread, but, but, butter. <laughs> it's the fact you don't put it on a tray. You have it on the shelf, the, uh, the shelf of the uh, oven. And that means it can circulate and that happens. Using a special glass today. I was sent this Christmas. Either late last year or Christmas, Christmas. And I'll show you. you then a half pint glass. I put that behind you might be able to see what it says 007 Vauxhall hot and spicy nice isn't it so cheers oh, oh nice and cold quite a warm evening well early evening right here we go that's what I'm talking about <laughs> What should we have? Pork rib. And you've got to eat with your hands. No other way. Look at that. It looks burnt on there, doesn't it? But it ain't. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The sauce that comes in a sachet with this. Is one I can't pronounce or remember. Uh, you put it on 10 minutes before the end of the cooking. It says 25 minutes on the box. I always go for 30. And then at 20 minutes, pour the sauce on back in the oven for 10. Absolutely. Beautiful. <laughs> so how's your week been? <clears throat> Seen you. If you've watched my last video, the the Alwyn Reservoir, lovely walk. Been there. I don't know how many times. Um, I've walked um, that. Well, as I say, I don't know how many times. But I fished there for so long. We went in work as a competition. We go. We used to go um, on a weekend. A few of us that enjoyed fishing, and it was a, a case of spending the day there. You know, just it wasn't. It's was nice to catch fish, but it wasn't the all. It wasn't the be all. You know, the I used to take a stove. I had an umbrella. I still got it, and the rods, umbrella. I might do it actually and film it if I do it one day. Listen to that wind. And uh, mind you, the washing's out so that'll dry. <laughs> the hell? Um, umbrella, big umbrella up, sit under it, stove on, kettle on, whatever. And uh, he's a do bacon or he's a get lamb burgers. And uh, a couple of the lads are. <laughs> Bloody hell, they smell good. <laughs> Bloody great. You gotta enjoy yourself, see. 
don't stop eating when I go out. <laughs> Mind you, I find that you live longer then. Oh, I'm afraid. Concentrate on the glass. Carly. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed the walk. Let's have a bit of this. Perry Perry. Oh, melting the mouth, man. I put that at the same time. Um, in actual fact, the box of these steaks, Tesco's are different, these are Sainsbury's ones. Quite nice too. It says on the box, grill. Well, I put them in the oven and I put them in for 30 minutes. And it's, I'll take another bite for you to see. What? Will Carter, if you're watching. I've been enjoying your videos you've dedicated to me. And you have crispy chicken one. There you go. Coming back at you. Mm. So much to see <coughs> the Alwyn Reservoir. So it's on the Hiraythog Mountains on the off the Denby Moors there. And um you know a lot of it's quite barren and very open but there's so much wildlife and life it's unbelievable um fantastic hmm ah, i forgot the name of it now i've seen a bird in there i'm not sure i got on camera We've got a couple of birds on there, but um, and I've not seen this bird. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Was, it's all the same. It? Anyway, I hadn't seen it for for years, and it was just nice to see it there, to know it's still going. Even the old robin was in the the red robin redbreast. Amazing. Hmm. You'll have to excuse me. Busy. Busy guts in. There we go. I'll need an all day for this. Beautiful. Beautiful. So what are you having then? Well I know one of you is having pork ribs. Because you said when I have them. You were waiting on them or something for me to have them. And I think I replied, I haven't had them for a while, so that's what we're having this week. <coughs> well, that's what I'll have next. The best. Never tired of something. You might think, oh, we have that every week. Never tired of it. Once a week. Ah. Uh, Another petty, look at that beautiful. Mm. Mm. See what I mean? Things look oh, that saucy, beautiful, burnt and all this, but it's nothing. Oh, that's another thing. If you've watched my walking video, plug to that now. <laughs> going on about it, enough. I filmed there. Uh, a section of creepy woods, I call it. And the bloody camera made me out a liar. When it, went, it wasn't as dark in there. It, it must be in the winter, it's worse, you see. But it's still a bit... Um, 
but I've done a video but I haven't put it up yet so what I might do if you're interested don't watch if you're not interested it's only a bit of fun really but just to show you the woods you know it's a very quite a low it feels because it's so dense it feels so dark and you know and you've, I don't know the, actually Graham if you're watching which you will do um, maybe I'm not sure if you watch weekend I know you're busy with the Sunday roast and that but um, if you watch this whatever well you will do I know but whenever you watch it I should say God get it out on and bloody on little thing how because I know in your comments under the video you said you, you can confirm it is a creepy woods have you sensed anything there or do you just feel because I tell you what I feel there I'm not as sensitive and all that I'm just but in there any other woods fantastic but when I go through that for some reason I just get feel I'm watched I'm not alone I don't know and it's silly it's silly nothing there but it just you know you can't wait to get out if I'm not filming it straight through <laughs> but especially in the winter but um, I've actually had, when was it, one walk I did, and it wasn't even dinner time. I had to put my head torch on in there. So it must have been a winter walk, yeah. I've done that walk in the rain, in the snow, in the belting. You know, it was windy when I did it, but that was nothing compared to one I did. A deal. So interesting to know if you feel anything, Graham there, or if you remember feeling anything. Not just the fact it's creepy, you know, just the... But that's what I feel when I go in there, so enclosed. I, look, I always look around like this and look behind me. This <laughs> is weird. But I'll put the video up tomorrow, it's only about a minute long. I put some music to it, atmospheric, and give you an idea what I'm on about. You may get the feeling it's creepy yourself, I don't know. But if you're not interested, don't worry. It's only a bit of fun. I don't expect you to watch every video. Sometimes I put a lot up in one go. You know, like yesterday, a walk, and today's this. Um, I've done the outtake video with a fighter jet. I understand you've got a life. It's not all about YouTube. And if you're not interested, don't watch them. You know, I don't expect anybody to watch anything you don't want. I understand. I'm not one of these that says, they haven't watched that video because they haven't commented. Don't worry about it. I understand. There's a lot of videos with doing YouTube you, you don't watch. I watch certain videos, but I miss a lot. You just can't do it. Because um, I like to answer comments. Um, you just, I'm filming, editing, uploading, and then doing your day-to-day -day life. You just can't do it. So, um you know it's you do what you can don't you but i understand don't worry but they're always there if you want them i had that speech over oh come off look oh. around beautiful hi right, answer me this Mind you, might be a silly question, because I don't have a dog. When we had dogs, and it was mainly when I was young, you know, kid, we always had a dog. The first dog, when I was a child, was um, like a poodle cross, it was. Only like a, it looked like a terrier, bloody cross between a poodle and a terrier. Anyway. Vicious little bastard thing it was. Excuse my language. You could put a muzzle on it and it'd rip through the muzzle. That was a horrible dog. But I don't know whether it was his fault why it was vicious, you know. But we couldn't go near it. You couldn't do nothing with it. Couldn't take it for a walk. Bloody useless thing. With me now, they cooked the bastard. Anyway. <laughs> I was joking. But he was a very vicious dog. Um. When he went, we had another Labrador. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful dog. Absolutely loving dog that was. But uh, 
And now, this one I'm going to tell you. We used to always get a bone from the butchers. Big beef bone like that. Ah, so you'd be there for a bloody hour in the garden. <laughs> I don't see people now. I mean, I do post office work and plenty of dogs. But I never see them. Perhaps I miss it, but I never see them eating bones. You'd always see a dog somewhere eating a bone now and again in the garden. and You don't see it now. Do people still go to the butcher for a bone for the dog? I don't know. They're good for them. They used to love the marrow, digging it. Good for them. Yeah. And the reason I've gone on to that, in case you think, what the hell, what the hell have you gone on to? Bones. It's warm. Again. What can you say? And now it's happened. Oh, oh Prince Charles was local yesterday. He was in Wrexham and uh, in Llanevid near Denby. Uh, perhaps that's where them fighter jets were out yesterday. I don't know. Christ, perhaps that was his helicopter, not an air ambulance. Never thought of that. He must have been looking down. <laughs> yeah. The old Charlie and Camilla. <coughs> She's won a few races. <coughs> no, I mustn't be cruel. Bloody hell, he could have done better than that, though. Last time he's seen a face like that, it was. I had bets put on it. Right. <laughs> I wanted to show. Someone asked me this blue dragon. There it is. But be careful, there's different types. That's the one. If you want the hot, it says hot. Uh, is there chilies on it? Yeah, I can't see without glasses, sorry. Chili. Nice. Well, nail looks black. <laughs> From holding these bloody things. Mmm. I've had another feed of tomatoes on oh, the taste. I put some on my uh, sandwiches. In actual fact, I filmed yesterday. I left a lot of footage out of that walk uh, for time and because of the wind and that and one of the pieces I left out was I actually filmed my dinner having my dinner um, and what I had was boiled ham on granary bread and uh, boiled ham sliced homegrown tomato and the cucumber I pickled in vinegar malt vinegar a couple of slices of that and I tell you what, <laughs> bloody... <laughs> when you've done a walk like that and... Ah, the taste. Because you feel you deserve it and your body's wanting, you know. And I took a bottle of... Um, strawberry and kiwi juice in it. It's only... Like um, orange squash, you dilute it. <sighs> Lovely drink. Yeah, so with them people, you won't realise with filming. Right. And I wasn't sure how to film it. Well, I know how to film it. I had two ways in mind, you see. It's either 
Hang on. This was either going to be tripod, lots of shots, and music, and hardly any talking. Maybe in the wind situation, it would have been a good thing. But I also like to film things sometimes as they are, as you would hear it if you were there with me. Um, but the, you know, the wind is a bloody bane, and it's. it's as is that door which rattles in the wind but uh, hopefully it was enjoyable I mean, it's, it's certainly enjoyable doing it anyway you've had enough now have you hmm? quenched your hunger hmm Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I tell you what, a lot of, um, I think, a lot of living people have a long life or live a happy life. I think part of the success of living a long life is obviously the first thing is good health and you know no accidents and things like that but I think a lot of it's in here you know if you're happy in yourself why am I talking about that anyway if if you're happy in yourself or you look at the positive side um, and well the reason I'm saying it is because if some people ask oh you eat a lot of meat and you eat this and you eat that and you drink that and you drink that. if you know okay you gotta look after yourself happy medium but I don't oh no I'm not eating that piece of bread you know that's uh, 7 calories and I eat things I'm an active person and I eat stuff I drink stuff but I'm happy and there's a lot of they say the brain and the body gives off a lot of enzymes or whatever I'm not that way inclined into the body which is good for the body and it just you know it's like um well, not a vitamin. It does the body good, anyway. It releases different things, and I think a lot of it's to do with that. Um, living a, trying to live a happy, positive life, or making the best of what you've got, but enjoying yourself. You know, not worrying too much about different things, but not being silly as well. You know, not having a fry up every day and all this sort of thing. But um, that's why I enjoy these hot and spicy once a week. Uh, really enjoyable. You ready for this now? Flatbread. When you get that sound, you get my approval stamp. Right then. Posh glass. I'm not going to use this all the time. Because I'm going to keep it. I have shown it once, I think, but uh, there we are. Nice. So we'll top that up. Cheers. Thanks for watching, listening to this babble, if you're still there. That was very enjoyable. Pork ribs, pork steak, peri peri sauce, or coating. I put Blue Dragon hot sauce on top, and we got the Tesco flatbread. Life's good. So probably the next video will be this creepy woods video tomorrow. As I say, it's only a minute. Don't feel you're gonna watch it. It's only, a, but it would be interesting to see what people think if you find it creepy or not. But I'll do it again in the winter when it is bloody creepy. But. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh, good timing.